They say nicotine isn't addictive. How can they say that? 2008 marks the 10th anniversary of the landmark state tobacco settlement, and the states have received over $200 billion from the tobacco settlement and tobacco taxes. But they've only spent 3% of their tobacco money on tobacco prevention and cessation programs. This was a truly unprecedented opportunity to fight tobacco use, the number one cause of preventable death in our country. Ten years later, our report shows that most states have broken their promise to use their tobacco money for programs to prevent kids from smoking and help smokers quit. In fact, the Campaign for Tobacco-Free Kids report revealed that not one single state is funding tobacco prevention programs at amounts recommended by the CDC, and elected leaders lack credible excuses for failing to do more against big tobacco. We're asking the states to invest in the health of this country. We're asking the states to invest these funds at the very minimum requirements recommended by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. They can invest in public health and ease the disease burden caused by tobacco. Today, only nine states fund tobacco prevention and cessation programs at half of CDC recommended levels and 41 states fund them at less than half the CDC recommended levels. What is even worse is that several states that once were national leaders in funding tobacco prevention programs have yet to restore full funding for their programs after substantial budget cuts. All this makes for very big challenges in the fight against big tobacco, especially in the face of a bleak economy. Our report warns that we face two big challenges right now in the fight against tobacco. The first challenge is complacency. We've made significant progress in reducing smoking, but that progress is at risk without aggressive efforts to fight tobacco at all levels of government. The second challenge is the budget shortfall states are facing because of the weak economy. The last time the economy weakened, states cut funding for tobacco prevention programs by 28 percent. And that's one reason why smoking declines came to a halt, and states cannot make the same mistake again. Especially when tobacco companies spend nearly $19 to market tobacco products for every $1 states spend on tobacco prevention. Since 1998, tobacco companies have increased marketing by 94 percent, from $6.9 billion to $13.4 billion, in search of new smokers to replace the 400,000 people who die each year from tobacco-related diseases. For more information about the Campaign for Tobacco-Free Kids report, visit www.tobaccofreekids.org forward slash reports forward slash settlements.